Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Sorry, I just <clears throat> changed the setup there. I don't, I'm not really very good at filming uh, when it's not natural. Like, yeah, I had a couple of people like messaging, not messaging me, but like tweeting me and stuff, saying like, "Oh, when are you doing another YouTube video?" And to be honest, I just like don't have any time. But I'll start this anyway and see if it ever sees the light of day. When I was in Scotland my new blog design went live and since then like things have just gone kind of crazy. Um, been getting a few like kind of sponsored posts in from my blog so that's when you like get paid to write certain things on your blog for brands. Um, I've also started um, managing um, the social media for a company that I used to work with so I'm doing that part-time and I also started working freelance for the Metro online which is um, if you're not from Britain basically just like a UK website which um, is also a newspaper uh, and I write for the mental health section of their blog um, so I am very busy with that and the social media work and my own blog Basically I have a lot on my plate and to be honest I'm not really handling it. <laughs> I don't have it under control. Um, my anxiety has been particularly bad. Um, I just wake up with this like, like horrible, horrible tight feeling in my chest I can feel right now. Um, I've not had any panic attacks, but I just constantly feel like I'm about to have one. Um, and I have this weird feeling of like, sometimes people stand too close to me and it makes me anxious. I feel claustrophobic even though I'm in like an open space. Um, also, I'm just like very, very irritable. Um, so at my day job, I work with the public and I'm finding I just like have no patience whatsoever. I wish I knew how to um, solve this problem, but I'm not quite there yet. So bear with me. Um, this is Monday night. Tomorrow is my day at home. So I'll try and vlog a little bit of that. Um, and just get you guys caught up to date with what I'm doing. Um, I'll try not make it too depressing because my mental health, like I say, is not, it's not tip top, but let's, let's, let's just see how this goes. Morning. It's so cold. And I'm so sweepy. Thank goodness for makeup. It's perked me up a little. Um, I had a bit of a crap night last night. I just, um, just anxiety. N negative thoughts, so I had a good wee cry um, and I obviously fell asleep at some point, so it's all good. It is nine o'clock. Oh good, I'm actually running ahead of schedule, which is highly unusual. I'm going to head down into town. I've got a package to pick up from Debenhams and I'm going to take my laptop and go and sit in a coffee shop and do some work because one, coffee required. Two, why use my own heating when I can use someone else's? Three, I get easily distracted when I'm at home, working from home, so it's better that I'm in a coffee shop. I find I can focus a lot better on the work I've got to do. It's freezing. It's lunchtime, I definitely have not done enough work, but instead I'm going to waste time and show you what I got at Debenhams. This is a Benefit um, little skin um, kit. I think it was like £16. It was in the sale. Face cream, eye cream, another face cream, a face wash, 
and a serum all in little miniatures which I thought was really cute I also got a planner and it, I like that it's hardback so it's kind of like a desk calendar and then it's got and I like that it's got contacts because I am really bad at keeping people's addresses nearby and then this is I'm really chuffed I got this because I think it might sell out it was £15 but I got it in the sale so it was like £12 and it's this Origins like mini face mask kit I'm disappointed in Debenhams because I don't know if you can see but it's really bashed up like little pods and I'm quite tight so I reckon I could get more than one use out of each of these <laughs> so I'm just off to go and make a cup of tea try and do work for an hour and then maybe have some lunch get my to-do list you see that? Crossed off so many things. These uh, to-do lists are actually really good. They're from Kiki K, so they were ridiculously overpriced. It's like a, a notepad and it must have maybe about 50 or something um, on them and they're not dated. You, you write the date on them, so you just rip them off every day, every day and fill them in. And yeah, it's got like, like a to do list here and then your top priorities and then an hourly like schedule which at first I was like I thought that was great and then I was writing it all out and then I wasn't managing to fit it all in so I was getting really annoyed and getting like stressed about it but then I realised it's just because I was being unrealistic with my time skills and with my goals and that's the whole point is that there's three priorities it's teaching me to be more realistic with my time scales and to actually prioritise because normally I'll write a list of 10 things and I'm like, well, they're all top priority, I can't choose. But I'm learning to do that now. But Kiki K stuff is so nice. If you want me to do it, um, show you all the Kiki K stuff that I've got, I could do a whole video about that. Because I fucking love it. I've only got one thing left on my to-do list. Um, so that's exciting. So I'm going to, I think, don't tell anyone, but I think I'm going to go for an afternoon nap. It's quarter past two, so I might go for a nap. Get up about three, half three, and then get the last thing done on my to-do list. I forgot to finish the vlog last night, but that's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Basically yesterday, um, I did what I said I would do. I had a nap. <laughs> I put like a mindfulness, like a guided, guided meditation on. Um, and listen to that and it kind of like relaxed me because when my anxiety was <laughs> that's what I'm doing here my anxiety was quite bad um, so I had like a nice kind of peaceful nap and then I woke up and then I did some writing uh, my husband came home we had dinner and stuff and just chilled so that's that's my day at home over with I hate it when it's over because now I have to go back to work um, and it's much harder to fit stuff into the day oh I wanted to mention this t-shirt you can see it. It says have hope on it. Um, yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like. It's got like a hourglass on it. Basically, these are designed by my brother. Designed to raise um, awareness of mental illness. He also has really cute hats as well. So I'll leave the link in the description bar below. And you can pick one up if you want. Um, a pro percentage of the um, proceeds go to a mental health charity as well. So please go and check that out. Until next time, please forgive me for this weird uh, vlog. Uh, it's just me kind of getting back into it after being away for a while. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want daily updates. See you soon.